name is Tom Alpel, and welcome to the Art of Nothing Wilderness Survival video series. Good morning. I'm Melvin Beatty. This is my cousin Tom. Well, from the looks of what we got here, we got one piece of glass. It's going to come down this little drainage a little bit. Looks like there's another one under here. Looks like it's the bottom out of a bottle. Pretty large bottle. All right. Nice piece of glass to work with. Make us some tools. We found a little area where there's a, an older fire pit so that we can uh, keep them having debitides all around the area. So we're going to do our napping here with this glass that we found. It'd be just like working a piece of obsidian. It's um, flat. I've got a, a lip here and I want to be able to um, make my median line so that I can take flakes in both directions and create an edge. And so I'm going to take one off here and see if I can take that little lip off. All right, and then I just take another Got my platform set here. I'll take a piece off right there. Right, now you can see I've thinned it down to where I've got the thickness all the way back. My median lines move down. Now I'm going to take that all the way on around, so uh, it's going to take me a little bit. All right, we've got it sharpened up. Sharp. We'll leave it like that for. We'll get ready to do our fire. Having timber along and we've just passed this uh, cow carcass and all the bear scat. She uh, is looking down there in the willows and she's uh, ears are perking. She's stopping looking into the willows and we figured that uh, something's in there so we called her back. And, uh, no sooner we've done that and uh, here comes Bruno up out of the woods and looking directly at us. And uh, eventually sees us, gives a whiff of us and spooks and runs down. And actually, he ran down into the woods and circled up around in front of us and got... Oh, lunch. <laughs> Ants. Yeah, lemony tasting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Not bad. It's sweet. <laughs> The method of fire starting we'll use on this trip is called the hand drill, which is literally rubbing two sticks together to start a fire. And uh, let me give you a peek ahead to see how it works. We'll need a fire board with a hole and a notch in it. And we'll need a tall skinny spindle or drill. Uh, plus we'll need a tender bundle of soft, dry, fluffy material. To start the fire, we will spin the spindle with our hands uh, to create friction, which will uh, chew off little bits of wood powder that will spill out in the notch of the fireboard and gradually get hot and ignite to form a small ember. We'll transfer the ember into a tender bundle, then blow it into flame. If you go out with your bare hands and uh, try to catch ground squirrels, uh, it, it's really a humbling thing and you realize they're not that stupid they're really smart. So on this trip we brought along a, a secret weapon uh, to be able to use to our advantage and that's Timber. And uh, we're counting on her to provide us some dinner. You're a good girl. Mel is case skinning this squirrel which involves making a single slit across the back legs and then peeling the skin off like a sock. I've cut up close, close to the neck here, and so the esophagus is cut. So I'll be able to reach up the cavity and I'm pulling the lungs, the heart, and uh, everything out at one time. And also I pulled it down to where I've got to pull out the large intestines from the other end. And you can see I'm pulling it back out through the pelvis area, and now it's clean. Here is a cool trick. Just slap the raw meat onto the face of a hot rock and it sticks there. The hot rock cooks one side of the meat, while the fire cooks the other. You know, for a rodent, this meat is really good. It is sure nice and fat and greasy too. That is a positive thing out here. We found this aluminum can that we can use as a pot to cook up our uh, thistle artichokes. and. Um, Mel cut the top off, but also left it attached part way so we can use it as a handle to more easily get the pot on and off the fire. And in the case of the artichoke, you would uh, 
uh, peel those off one at a time and, and dip them in butter and then uh, eat the fleshy part off the base. Well, these thistles are a bit too small for that. Uh, you can just uh, chew them up whole and that, that works. Uh, you just get a lot of fiber that way. And uh, what we prefer is just to uh, peel them open and to eat out the artichoke heart there in the center. And it is really good. Every shelter that you should build should really be uh, uniquely designed to incorporate the four elements of shelter in a way that is appropriate to uh, the time and the place that you are as well as your goals uh, while you're there. And uh, so what we're trying to do is to uh, tighten this shelter up by um, closing in the front a little bit, uh, building these little rock walls, and uh, I'm being careful to put debris in between the stones to make sure we don't have any cold air seeping in uh, that way. And uh, of course I also need to uh, fill in these uh, gaps in the branches over the doorway uh, so that no cold air will come in that way either. And uh, finally need to make sure we have a big enough pile of debris uh, in front of the door so that uh, that's good and tight.